My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it, stay wildin'. What's up my Wilder people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. Alright guys, on today's episode we're going to focus on pufferfish. That's right, pufferfish, pufferfish, pufferfish. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this. And of course, let's get it. We're going to pet supermarket. Come on, what you waiting for? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we got some feeder fish, some rosy reds. We got some beautiful Oscars. I believe these are ruby Oscars. They're black now, but they will develop to be a nice red color as they get older. Got some African cichlids. Some feeder guppies. But that's not what we came here for, guys. We came here for something else. So we're out here looking for a specific fish. It's kind of hard to hear me because I'm wearing a mask, but I think we found them. You guys see what I'm looking for? It's right here. And now it's time to scoop them up. Apparently there's two in here. We're gonna see both of them and select the best one. Oh my God, look at this one right here. Guys, again, these are green spotted puffers. Take a look at that, also known as leopard puffers. Oh, that one is gorgeous look in the spots the dots on it and this guy's not too bad <laughs> he's not as pretty but <laughs> all right guys I think this decision is easy we're gonna go with with this one yeah yeah sorry my friend maybe you'll find a home soon but not with the wild world of Farley all right so we've made it back home to the wild world of Farley we have this 15 gallon tank already cycled. We've been cycling for the past, I'd say three days. It's good and ready, water clear. And we have this new home for our beautiful, beautiful spotted puffer. All right, so we're gonna put him, like I mentioned, in this 15 gallon fluval tank right now. It's a juvenile, so we can put him in this 15 gallon tank temporarily. I'm also gonna treat him from worms. It's always a good idea to treat your puffer fish for worms because a lot of them do have intestinal parasites. Ideally, a tank that's about 35 gallons to Let's say 50 gallons would be perfect for a leopard puffer fish. Reason being is because these puffer fish can grow up to be about six inches long. Much bigger and massive than a figure eight puffer. It grows to only be about three inches long. All right, so now we're gonna acclimate him to the new water. So right now it's in a freshwater tank. These puffer fish as juveniles and babies can live in fresh water, but as they get bigger, it's better for them. As they become adults, it's better for them to be in brackish water similar to their counterparts, the figure eight. The figure eight right now is in brackish water. I'm gonna slowly acclimate him to brackish water, little by little. But again, it is a juvenile, so he should be fine in fresh water. So while this is going on and while he's acclimating, it's time for our boy P. Diddy to get an upgrade. All right, so this is P. Diddy. Mama Boo Puffer, P. Diddy. He's gotten massive when I first got him. He was about 1.5 inches. Oh, take a look at the colors and patterns on this beautiful little guy. All right, we're about to let's set him free into his new home. Look at how beautiful this thing looks. Oh, guys, he just started eating. He's gonna go crazy. I know when they do, oh, there he goes again. He's just eating it up. Oh, guys, this is adorable. This is adorable. Ah, now he's at least six. I'd say he's about six inches. And he's outgrowing this 32.5 gallon tank. I've removed all the plants like I mentioned because we're gonna upgrade him into a larger tank. It's always recommended that if you do get him a boo puffer, to get a massive tank that will accommodate him all throughout his growing needs. But boo puffers can grow up to be two feet long. And it's recommended to have a tank at least 150 gallons or more. I've gradually been upgrading his tank. He went from a 32.5 to right now he's going to go to a 65 gallon tank. It's not recommended to do it the way I'm doing it because many people do not end up upgrading their tanks and the fish suffer. All right, so I'm gonna try to scoop him up into this. I don't want to take a net and scoop him up because if I do that, he may puff and I don't want him to puff because when puffer fish puff, they have stress. They're stressing out. Let's see if I can grab him real quick. There he is. A massive puffer. Got him. Don't want him jumping. I didn't feed him for the past two days for this transport because I didn't want him to be too stressed. You guys can see he is darker than he usually is. Maybe just because he's not aware of his surroundings. And he's not stressed, but he's a little agitated maybe. Um, I do want to mention that he did have ick, I want to say, maybe a week ago. And I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about different products that I use for ick. First thing I'll use is a, is a heater. I'll crank the temperature up as high as possible. That will allow the fish to thrive as well as take care of the ick. Apart from that, aquarium salt is something that I always use. It's always good for fish health overall. And it adds, you know, essential electrolytes. Those things are not working. Something that I use is, 
API Super It Cure. And last resort will be It Guard. It Guard is really good, and these It treatments are really good, but fish that have no scales, you know, scaleless fish, are very sensitive to these It treatments. So try to use these as last resort. And as you guys can see, not a single, not a single speck of Ick is on him. And I'll show you guys some pictures of when he did have Ick. While we're on the topics of different treatments, um, any puffer fish that you have that you've recently get, it's always important to treat them for pretty much parasites, some type of intestinal worms. Prazi Pro is the way to go. Just follow the directions on all these products and your fish will be happy and healthy. And I'm going to use Prazi Pro for the fish that I just got for the green spotted puffer. Alright, so the 65 gallon tank has been cycled, it's ready to go, has no decorations as of yet. But my Mabu puffer will be happy here, so we're going to allow P. Diddy to acclimate. All right, P. Diddy, let go. And bam. Allow him to acclimate. I'll be back for you to release you in about 15 minutes. All right, and just like that, it's time to release P. Diddy. This is clean water, so it won't make a difference. Turn him over and look at him, straight chilling. All right, so now P. Diddy has a lot of space to be able to move, grow, and ultimately be happy. I still have to decorate his tank, so I'll probably do that in a future video, but look at him. It's time for my boy to grow. <laughs> These Mavu puffers are very messy eaters, so you want to make sure that you have a, a decent filtration system. So you want to make sure you have a decent filtration system. Alright, there's the beautiful puffer. Oh my god. Alright guys, it's time to pretty much let him go into his new home. Just like the figure eight puffers and the Mabu puffers, this spotted leopard puffer is really aggressive, so it's hard to find appropriate tank mate. And as the fish gets bigger, it treats smaller fish as it's pretty much meals. Okay, we don't want them to puff, we don't want them to puff. We have them right here, we're gonna try to do a quick. And it's so vibrant. So just like other puffer fish, they do have those front teeth that continuously grow, so it's important to have some type of selfish in their diet. That way they're continuously chomping away and chipping at their teeth. All right, so. Let's let this guy go. Where's he at? Where's he at? And woo! Welcome, my boy. Yeah, this guy's gorgeous. Guys, comment below and let me know what you guys want to name him. And since I did mention food, just to give you guys an idea of what I do feed my puffer fish, I feed him clam on half a shell, and sometimes I give him some bloodworms, as well as some filter crabs here and there. <gasps> uh, they also like crayfish. And now it's time to pretty much treat them with Prazi Pro for internal parasites, and we're good to go. Oh, and they do like chunks of shrimp. So let's drop the chunk right now. Such a friendly little boy. Ooh. And just like that. Look at him go. Just straight devouring it. Yep, this is a healthy guy. And it looked like he defecated earlier today. Drop a little piece for Zeus and see what happens. And Zeus had no problems buying that. Alright, so Zeus is a big boy, so yeah. That was, that was just easy for him. Okay, and he wants more. All right, my one people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new addition to the pufferfish family, our green spotted, also known as leopard pufferfish. Until next time, stay wildin'. Hey, hey you viewer, before you go, I wanna say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.